we have our iPhone 14. So if you didn't watch our last video, basically what we're trying to do is make this back glass completely transparent. We ran into way more issues than we initially thought we would. Basically, this metal shield was glued down with some crazy glue. I don't know what kind of glue it was, but Apple has like the best plug in the world for glue because it was near impossible to remove. But we finally got it off and then we encountered another problem. The camera bumps are actually welded to this metal plate. So we're going to have to Dremel the metal plate completely off. There's also a huge risk of us actually cracking the glass with the Dremel because they tend to slip or perhaps we could cut into the glass by accident. It's a huge risk, but unfortunately it is the only option we have. I do want to include the camera bump with the transparent back glass. I want this area to actually be transparent, but chances are we might not actually be able to do that. I guess we'll have to find out. So we're going to be using a little tiny Dremel for this. We're not going to be using the big one just because I think it'll increase the risk of us actually damaging something else. I actually did Dremel off a tiny bit of the metal before this video just to test to see if it would work and it did in fact work. I'm going to try and Dremel this big piece off first so we can have better access to the rest of it because this is so ugly right now. All right, let's do it. Nice. Uh, we're gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to wait through me just sawing through stuff. Okay, so we sawed off the big metal piece. R.I.P. to boy, never come back. We still have its children to saw off. I don't know why I said children, but yeah, we, ah. Uh, are you serious? So it looks like we actually made a tiny crack on the lens. Personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal just because it's not gonna go anywhere and it's very small. It could have been a lot worse considering we're using a Dremel on this glass. A Dremel can easily damage the glass. So considering what we're doing, this isn't actually that bad. When there's aftermarket parts available, we'll definitely order them and retry this again. But I wanna be the first to do this. So that's why we're doing this now. Anyway, without further ado, let's continue to Dremel off the rest of the metal pieces and hopefully remove this. So guys, it's been around an hour and this is just incredibly hard to remove. I mean, I can probably remove it, but we already have one crack and the chances of it cracking more after removing this skyrocket. So we're gonna have to work around it. I think leaving this area blue won't be such a bad thing. If it looks too bad, I'll probably remove it, but I don't know, it's proven to be really difficult. Anyway, we have to remove the wireless charger and these MagSafe magnets before we can actually scratch off all the back glass. So let's get to that. To do that, we're gonna have to cook the back glass one more time. Cook the iPhone 14 back glass. The iPhone 14 back glass is done cooking. Now we have to remove these MagSafe magnets as well as the wireless charger. We have to do our best to do so without breaking anything. The magnets are easily replaced, but the wireless charger, not so much. We're gonna get under that wireless charger with our Jimmy tool. Now we have the wireless charger removed. We'll put that aside. It's time to start scratching the shit out of this iPhone 14 back glass. We'll take our razor blade and we're just gonna start scratching. Is there a more efficient way to do this? Not really. We're not doing very good on time here. This is taking quite a while and my thumb is getting really tired from all the scratching, but we're gonna keep going. The razor blades cracked. That's the noise. Okay.
Guys, we finally did it. Okay, so I managed to scratch off 90% of the paint. I left the paint around the camera because it would have been impossible to get under that metal bracket. Honestly, I think it actually looks better this way. The Apple logo is a separate component from the actual paint, so that stayed on, which is actually really cool. Obviously, we still have some paint remnants. We have to go over, scratch it, clean it, the whole lot. But holy crap, that took so long. This is gonna look absolutely incredible, without a doubt. So stay tuned, we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna install the wireless charger and then we're gonna install it onto our iPhone and I am so excited, let's get it. And we're back. It's a new day. Uh, we uploaded the last video yesterday, so I'm filming this basically the day after. There's still a tiny bit of paint that we have to scratch off, and then we're gonna get the wireless charger installed, and then we're gonna install it onto our phone. So far, it looks really cool. Right now, we're just perfecting the back glass. We're just gonna scratch off any paint that got left behind. So we got the back glass paint fully removed. That took a really, really long time. All that's left for us to do now is reinstall the wireless charger, the flash, the back microphone, and then install this onto our phone. So far, this turned out really well. I think the back glass looks as good as it could, and uh, I'm excited to see the final result. I did a quick inspection on the actual wireless charger. It looks like a little copper wire ripped, but that's really okay because it's not hard to solder that back on. So that's what we're gonna do first, and then we're gonna install everything. Thing. So we have the wire hovering over the pad. All we have to do now is take a soldering iron and we sh should be able to just apply our soldering iron to this pad. And we should be good like that. That was quite annoying. Okay, so it looks like we're all ready to continue with this installation. We also have to clean up the camera glass because it's pretty dirty. We'll just brush it out. Well, what a microfiber cloth with some isopropyl alcohol and now we'll twist it around like it's noodles on a fork and just like that it's cleaned up so now we have to install the wireless charger i don't have clear adhesive so i want to see if i could just make it work like this The wireless charger definitely takes away from its looks a little bit, but I don't want to take away functionality for looks to that degree. Let's also test out the wireless charger and see if my makeshift soldering job actually worked. We'll grab a MagSafe wireless charger. If you're wondering about the MagSafe, uh, I'm going to actually add that in a short video just so more people can see the design of the phone and uh, hopefully more people click on the video. So the wireless charger does actually work. As you can see, it's charging with only the wireless charger. So uh, yeah, soldering job worked. And this is it. This took an insane amount of work, but this is our iPhone 14 with a transparent back glass. We sacrificed a bit of the looks to include all of its functionality. That wireless charger is not my favorite thing, but it is necessary because it attaches to the flash and the back microphone. This phone actually looks incredible. I'm very, very happy with the result. The interior of the iPhone 14 is really well put together. It's very organized and it looks really, really cool. You can see pretty much everything. Looking at the bottom, you can see the Taptic engine, the loudspeaker. You can also see a portion of Apple's A15 sticker. The battery warnings are all there. And up top, you can see the back of the front camera, the antennas, the board, it's all there. This is honestly a really cool mod for any tech lover and it's bound to have people asking you questions about your device if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like subscribe hit that bell button i'll be making more customization videos like this in the future i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh yeah take care peace